What is the best chair to use while working from home? If you watched my latest work from home desk tour, you probably saw I was missing one key element from my desk setup, a solid desk chair. Enter in the Capisco chair by hack from fully.com. Now, just a quick note, this video is sponsored by fully.com. They did send me this chair to review. However, this video is solely my honest opinion. You guys know me, I like to keep it real. I'll tell how it is. I'll talk about the good and the bad about this chair. And to be honest, I was looking to buying it anyway. They were just gracious enough to send me one to review. So I told myself, when I get a new chair, I need to have two main features. One, it needed to have really good build quality and last me for a good amount of time. And then two, it needed to be ergonomic. Straight out the box, I could tell this chair was made with quality in mind. All the way from the black aluminum base and frame to the actual seat itself, which is PVC free full leather with a high durability rating. And fun fact, the chair is made out of 50% of recycled materials and it's 90% recyclable. So it's good for the environment too. Now on Foley's website, they do have different versions of this chair, whether it's a different material or it is a different color from your polyester to the Paloma leather. I personally chose to get the chestnut vinyl version because it was kind of like right in the middle. It wasn't hard to clean like the leather version, but it was also a little bit more high quality and premium looking versus the polyester. But what really stuck out to me was how ergonomic this chair was. It has a non-traditional plus shaped design with a saddle seat, which helps you sit in a more active posture by opening up your hips a little bit more. And it also has a curved back, which allows you to sit up straight, but still keep that natural curve in the spine. Now this design allows you to sit in a variety of different positions. So for example, you could sit in the normal front position, which is the normal position that we're all used to where you're sitting at the computer, sitting up straight, or you could sit sideways, which is a little bit more casual and you have an armrest to lean on, or you can switch it all up and just sit on the chair backwards, which has actually become one of my favorite positions because of the fact that it gives my core a little bit of a break by supporting my chest. And honestly, it's just cool to sit on a chair backward. The chair is also very adjustable. There's three levers below the chair, one that helps you adjust the seat height to where you can feel comfortable. Then you can also adjust the seat from forward and back to make sure that your hips and hamstrings are aligned appropriately. And then lastly, there's a lever that allows you to lean back in the chair or sit up straight. In addition to the levers, there is a knob behind the backrest of the chair that allows you to adjust the height of that backrest, which is good in terms of aligning the back seat with your lower back to make sure that it's in the most ergonomic position possible. And then lastly, there's a resistance knob that allows you to adjust the resistance of when you lean back and forth in the chair. You could tell they paid attention to the details, all the way from the stitching of the seat to the arched foot pads that cover the wheels, which is super convenient when you just wanna rest your feet on something other than the floor. Now to that point, they also have a lot of different accessories where you can actually rest your feet. The first is actual foot rest for when you're at the lowest position of your chair, you can relax your feet. And then the other option, which is what I have, is the foot ring. So I like to sit up pretty high and it's great to have a foot ring where I can rest my feet rather than having my feet just dangling up in the air looking like a little kid. Now this chair is not for everybody. In fact, there's a few qualms that I have with the chair. Main thing being, for some reason, the back rest of my chair, it rocks back and forth and I don't know how to tighten it. Now it doesn't happen when I'm just sitting still and doing work, but when I'm changing positions or when I like to you know, sit on the chair backwards, I could kind of rock the chair back and forth and that kind of gets a little bit annoying. The second thing is it's also pretty expensive. I mean, you're talking about an $800 plus chair. Not that many people are paying that much money for a chair, but I will be honest that this is on par, if not cheaper than a lot of the fancier ergonomic chairs that are out there. Those probably run anywhere between $1,000 to $1,500. You gotta think about it. Do you wanna put the investment now or do you wanna sit in a chair that ruins your back or your hips? and you have to pay almost three times, four times as more to get surgery. And then the third thing is it does take time to get used to. It's not a natural sitting position that we're used to because we're always more familiar with the kind of like sitting up straight, flat seat, and this is a whole different type of style. And it took me a little bit to get used to it, especially with my hips and my hamstrings kind of hanging off the edge, but over time I started to love it. And after three months of real world use, I can honestly say that this chair is definitely for me. For somebody who has back tightness, 
and wants to stay more active throughout the day, this chair helps me to do that by just allowing me to sit in different positions, making sure that I have a more ergonomic uh, seating posture. It's a great complement to my standing fully desk so I can you know, sit on the ground, but then if I need to raise it and I wanna sit high, I can do that as well. It's just perfect. It's the most versatile chair that I need for my day-to-day -day work from home lifestyle. Now, if you're interested in other high quality work from home furniture, make sure to go check out fully.com. They have everything from standing desks to standing mats, so many different furniture pieces that are really promoting a healthy lifestyle and I can't recommend them enough. So that basically wraps up today's video. Question of the day, what is your current desk chair? Let me know in the comments below. I hope this video was extremely helpful. If it was, go ahead and compile that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys later. Embrace the hype.